Randy Dowdy is a well-known local and national yield champion and consultant for corn and soybean production. He owns and operates a 1,700-acre farm in Brooks County, Georgia. But he is not your typical farmer. As a first-generation farmer, he has challenged the status quo and began his quest to break quality and yield records and share his knowledge throughout the agriculture industry. In 2016, Dowdy set a new world record for soybean yield, producing 171.8 bushels per acre. He worked closely with Brandt for three years on the fertility program for his three-acre test plot for the Georgia Soybean Production Contest. Meeting in-season nutrient demand uh, was an issue, um, and luckily we had some companies that were willing to help us with that, and that's where we were basically really first introduced to Brandt in the soybean arena as to the products they had that you know, could address those needs. All of that encompassed, you know, fertigation, in furrow treatments, you know, soil borne fertilizers, and then foliar applications as well. And we had some collaboration and we put forth a new plan. And in 2016, we were able to make 171 bushels per acre on the, on the contest and a field average of 140. This year, you know, we, through tissue sample analysis every week, our approach was, as tissue samples told us things, we, we had a proactive approach and then a reactive approach in tandem. And proactively, we learned from the years past and tried to put dry fertilizer and other fertilizers out there from where the nutrient demands we seemed to be able to pattern were going to be also in effect for this year. And then the reactive portion is as, as we pull those tissue samples and they give us indications that the plant was potentially not having what we thought it needed. We then made foliar applications of Brandt products. One of those products is Brandt's N-Boost 5, which is patented nutrient efficiency enhancer that helps boost nitrogen and other nutrient uptake, utilization, and efficiency within the plant. And this year, we made two applications of N-Boost. Both products, you know, perform well. Both times we got at least a half to a full percentage point of the nitrogen gain for at least two to four weeks based on all our tissue samples on every variety on every plot. So that, that's pretty impressive. You know, it was good ROI. It was cheaper than actually buying nitrogen at that point. It was, it was good management practice to keep those levels higher. That probably worked. Dowdy also used Brandt Smart Quattro, a new foliar fertilizer containing zinc, manganese, sulfur, molybdenum, and a new highly efficient form of boron. You know, quite often with our pHs of in the high sixes to low sevens, uh, we, we struggle to get uh, manganese uptake through the roots. So we use Smart Quattro. Um, we made, you know, three or four applications as the tissue te test would dictate, depending on which field, et cetera. We're all about, you know, return on investment, and we feel like because the tissue samples didn't lie to us, <laughs> and we were able to duplicate it in many fields for several seasons, that the Smart Quattro was providing what we needed from the manganese perspective and the other components that was within it. Another new foliar fertilizer, Brandt Smart BMO, offered a solution to help with deficiencies with boron and molybdenum, which are common problems for Dowdy, despite proactive applications of dry fertilizer. These nutrients are especially beneficial to soybeans. Within the plant, they enhance nitrification, nutrient uptake, flowering, pod set, and pod fill. Another problem we had this year, and one of the most leachable nutrients we deal with um, from a soil borne perspective, or a soil applied perspective, is boron. Um, for all that we do in dry fertilizer, we struggle to keep boron levels high enough in the plant that we covet. So we have learned to make it a, a proactive approach and, and put it as part of the system to where if there's a trip going across the field, we're looking at you know making sure that we're applying foliar applications of uh, uh, a boron. And this year, probably the biggest response, the bang for the buck based on the tissue samples was the Smart Bee Molly. Um, we were able to get tissue sample values that, that not only got in the plant faster, but they lasted longer, and that was very important to us. For me, it's about balance of ROI and or efficiency. I mean, because obviously you're, you've got another trip across the field. Now, when you buy things in a two and a half gallon jug, quite often, you know, your cost breaker goes up. So they really need to get in the plant and they really need to last. So that's a big deal. And, and with, you know, the brand products, we're being, you know, we're, we're being rewarded for not only the application, but in yield as well. One thing that we saw that was very beneficial is that we could tank mix a lot of these products with, with 
other management, you know, concerns like insects and or weed pressure or disease pressure, and we didn't have any problems with tank mixing whatsoever. So that was that was a nice re relief as well. Dowdy worked closely with Brant Territory sales manager Catherine Williams to make sure his crop's needs were met. We've had to adjust the program a little bit every year. That's one great thing about Brant is that not only do they offer products based on you know, demand that they experience throughout the country through their own research, but they're always willing to listen and always willing to listen of, of other needs that may be out there and see if we can't you know, get a product that either meets that need exclusively or it's a combination with other products. Always surround yourself with smart people. Always surround yourself with people that's willing to learn with you and, and put some skin in the game and, and help you achieve what you need and that's return on investment.